Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to St. Ambrose. When you're visitors this evening, we extend a special welcome as together we celebrate the 24th Sunday of ordinary time. We begin our celebration this evening by singing together number 613, Love Divine, All Loves and Self. Number 613 is the red gathering. Please stand and join the song.
children have your mercy, and we may also serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. This saying is trustworthy and deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Of these I am the foremost, but for that reason I was personally treated, so that in me, as the foremost, Christ Jesus might display all his patience as an example for those who would come to believe in him for everlasting life. To the King of Ages, incorruptible, invisible, the only God, honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Here I am, dying from hunger. I 
shall get up and go to my father, and I shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as you would treat one of your hired workers. So he got up and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father caught sight of him and was filled with compassion. He ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But his father ordered his servant, Quickly, bring the finest robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Take the fattened calf and slaughter him. Then let us celebrate with a feast, because the son of mine was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. Then the celebration began. Now the older son had been out in the field, and on his way back, as he neared the house, he heard the sound of music and dancing. He called one of the servants and asked him what this might mean. The servant said to him, Your brother has returned. Your father has slaughtered the fat calf because he has him back safe and sound. He became angry, and when he refused to enter the house, his father came out and pleaded with him. He said to his father in reply, Look, all these years I served you, and not once did I disobey your orders. Yet you never gave me even a young goat to feast on with my friends. But when your son returns, who swallowed up your property with prostitutes, for him you slaughtered the fat and calf. The father said to him, My son, you are here with me always. Everything I have is yours. But now we must celebrate and rejoice, because your brother was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. <coughs> the Gospel of the Lord.
and we go back to the Father with the sincere desire of wanting to be made new, we ask God to create in us a clean heart. Because everything He has is ours. The Father loves us. He grants us that. He forgives us our sins. When we seek it with a dry heart, we've got to mean it. You know, we've got to mean it. And we've got to what a desire to have a change, a new heart in us. Cast me not from your presence, but send your spirit to take hold of me. What a prayer. Think about that. What a prayer. Send your spirit to take hold of me. Because sometimes I'm lost and I need to be found. Sometimes I wander away I don't know where I am. Sometimes I'm right here, but I'm so distracted by everything else, usually myself, that I feel separate. Separate from God, and even separated from the ones who love. And my sacrifice of God is a contrite spirit, a heart humbled and contrite, you will not turn. Who among us would not rejoice at the lost sheep that they found? At that coin we've been looking for forever, when we find it, we rejoice. Imagine how happy God is when we're with Him, when we turn to Him. Because we all wander away sometimes. We do. Some go harder than others. But God is always there to welcome us back. If that's what we want. And to create in us a clean heart. Pray Psalm 51 sometime this week. Really, just, just sit for a few minutes and pray that psalm. Let it connect back to our prayer here. To the presence of the Lord in the Eucharist. And to the Father of the prodigal sons, prodigal children who's always there to welcome us back. Say, what I have is yours. The love of God for us. What I have is yours. And then when we feel that spirit, not only do we feel found, but we feel like rejoicing. And then we want to tell others about the good love of God. That's what a disciple does. That's what sheep follow the good shepherd do. That's what somebody who's found does. To tell people about the good news of God's love. Because we've experienced it. He's created in us a clean heart. That's our task this week. Let's go back to the Father. Let him put his arms around us. Let him welcome us back into his embrace. So that's what he wants us to do. And to remind us everything he has is ours. All the love, all the mercy, all the goodness he has is ours. We just need to share it. Whatever way we can. However we do that. Home, work, school, church. The love of God welcomes us back. It always seeks us out.
schools begun, religious ed is beginning, RCIA is beginning. All of those faith formation programs are beginning. And uh, they couldn't happen as well as they could what was for people who were willing to share their faith by teaching it, and by word, by example. <clears throat> so if you are involved in our faith formation program as a teacher, as a catechist, as someone who helps with youth ministry, someone who helps with sacramental prep, RCIA, or on the Faith Formation Commission, uh, would you just stand? You don't have to come up, but would you stand? Teachers, do you get my get up? I see you sitting there. What are you, what are you doing? That's the father and me calling the father and get up there. <laughs> Didn't mean to be so bossy. <laughs> this prayer is for, for all of our catechists, all of those who help uh, pass on our faith. Lord God, source of all wisdom and knowledge, you sent your son Jesus Christ to live among us to proclaim his message of faith, hope, and love to all nations. In your goodness, bless these our brothers and sisters who have offered themselves as catechists for your church, <coughs> strengthen them with your gifts, that they may teach by word and example the truth which comes from you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. For your now we stand and profess the faith of the Lord's song. I believe. Praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. It is to you, 
Father of all, we appeal to turn with our knees. Hear our prayers and strengthen our faith, so that all we say and do may be found pleasing in your sight. This we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen.
While in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your fatherly care, but even now we possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. So now with all the angels and saints, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim.
to our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing to you in their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy